Another application of the particle study is for masking specific features. And I have isolated two um, examples for that. So let's start with this one. You have um, like a tube on your surface. And if you zoom in, you have lots of more or less aggregated particles. And you might want to you know, remove the tube and perform another uh, particle analysis on the background and only the background. So here's how. We will first detect the, um, the tube. And we can use the um, edge detection. OK, like that. We will increase the this, this criteria, 10%. OK. Then you click on OK. You might want to erase the background like that. So um, we want to remove the tube, but keep the background. And to do so, there is a couple of export options here. Um, you could generate a particle surface. But what we want in this case is generate a background surface. You click here. And in the workflow, you have the background uh, surface being generated. And you will find it right here. Now, if you zoom in, you will have some edges effect. And that we will, you, know, you might want to erode those areas to get better uh, contrast, better understanding of what is happening in the, uh, the rest of the surface. And to do so, and if you want to know more details about that, please check the previous uh, video. We will insert an operator in the workflow called retouch. The idea is we want to only touch the non-measure point in, uh, in yellow. Here, we want to dilate them um, 15 nanometers, OK? And we want to uh, replace this region by more non-measure points. So we're not adding uh, uh, value, adding points. We're removing part of the surface. If I zoom in, you will see, I click on Apply. And you see that these regions here have been uh, eroded. If you're happy with the result, you click on OK. And this is uh, the result. And you see lots of particles here, which you can reuse for particle analysis. We could use a different algorithm, for instance, the watershed detection, the hills, then maybe 4%. And then here is the result. Here's um, another example where you want to first highlight uh, uh, structures and then uh, remove them, mask them for further processing. So let's um, play with this example. Um, very quickly, we use the particle study. Um, this view uh, we will change from above to below. Then we click on OK. Uh, and the idea is I want to isolate well, actually the top layer and maybe for calculating roughness. And to do so, we will export background surface. And here is the result. Now, if we move closely, maybe full screen. If we increase, uh, we enhance the palette a bit, you will see that you still have some edge effect. So you could use uh, the retouch operator once more, but here's um, another way. If we go back to the particle study, there's a, a feature here that we haven't touched yet. Uh, which is called the morphological correction. Uh, the idea behind morphological correction is to add a couple of pixels around these or remove 
a couple of pixels around, you can merge uh, particles, you can divide them um, a bit. But in this case, we want to uh, increase the size of each structure to avoid uh, the edge effect uh, in the, the exported surface. And to do so, you select um, dilation. And then you can increase the strength like that. You click on OK. And you will see the consequence on that surface. Mm -hmm.